check out this monster smallmouth. What? So our first section, we're going to do the front part of this boat, what I like about it. Um, this is a new design that they came out with. Uh, what I like the most about it is this paddle holder. It works really well when I'm wanting to stand up in the boat and I'm trying to figure out where my paddle is going to go. The other fantastic thing are these hinged latches. Absolutely slick, smooth, very efficient. It's not like my ocean kayak where it had the bungee cords up there and I had to unbuckle and undo all the bungees. It's just simple, easy, on and off. The other fascinating thing that I'm really looking forward to is this integrated uh, shell that they're going to make for this hatch right here. It's going to look a lot like this, uh, but it's going to be for this. And then uh, the Mayfly has a, a tray system that they're going to develop. It's very similar to that. And that's really nice because that's going to help prevent all my personal belongings from sliding all the way up and down this boat. Another, the other thing that I like is these rod tubes. Uh, they had like the Kusa HD. The Kusa HD had a piece of plastic here uh, covering up the boat or for the covering the rod. Sorry, I wasn't really sold on that. When they actually integrated these rod tubes in here, uh, it is much better system. Uh, I actually like using these, um, and I don't have to worry about it. I've gone through a couple trees already, and the rod tips have been broken. Uh, and it also helps with the wind. It doesn't catch very much wind. It cuts through it very well. Um, the other thing I like are these rod stages that they have here. Uh, it helps when I am putting a rod down and laying it down right there. Also has the GoPro mount. And now we're going to the midsection. Start off with is the gear tracks. I love how much gear track they have in here. Uh, that allows me to have a lot of options so that down the road when I want to mount more cameras on my boats I have more angles. It's all about the angles. The other thing I enjoy about this is the sea deck that they have right here, um, which is the foam pad that they have here. Uh, this is really phenomenal with traction. Uh, and I'll cut to a video right here of actually me standing up and catching fish with this sea deck. All right, now the other thing that I like about this is how much bungee there is here. Uh, this is meant to hold. Uh, this one's meant to hold your paddle, you know, this one's meant to hold rods, just like this one back here is doing, meant to hold rods. Uh, and they actually have gear track back here. It's very nice. The handles they have are very ergonomic compared to my Ocean Kayak. This is a world of difference. Uh, much more stable. I feel like I can actually handle this boat if I wanted to unload and load it by myself. Um, and then I'm going to cut to another video where I'm actually comparing the chairs. Uh, this is the Elite. 3.0 seat that they have um, and I'm going to compare it to my old ocean kayak uh, chair that I have. Uh, there's obviously a big difference here. Uh, the old ocean kayak seat, this, my, my, my backpacking sleeping pad is thicker than this. Uh, it is very uncomfortable to be sitting in a boat like this with your legs sticking up when you fish as many hours as I do throughout the day. It's very hard for your feet to stay circulated. Uh, thankfully, Jackson Kayaks has elite, developed the elite system that gets rid of all of this, these bungees and everything, and upgrades to this seat right here. So the fascinating thing about this seat is the storage options and how easy it is to disconnect this. This is also new that they've developed with these pins, but how easy it is to disconnect this thing. And then you can look at the storage. You have not one, but two tackle storage with bungee straps to hold these tackle boxes in here. It's very nice so that I don't have to worry about my gear making that racket and scaring all my fish away. The nice thing too is they have this little guy right here. And this is where I actually will hold my scents and my fish grips. Um, it's very nice to access all this stuff have it right at your fingertips and you don't have to have it sliding around on your deck. The other thing that I really like about this is the sea line bag that they have. Very large. I can put the stand assist strap that the kayak comes with in here when I'm not using it. It's waterproof. I've gone through a couple of uh, 
pretty hairy water, river systems I should say. Didn't get any water in here and it will hold your cookies for you. Absolutely phenomenal. It also comes with a water bladder system. Um, you know, we're a big proponent of staying hydrated. Hydration is no joke. It's a big difference having a lawn chair and then going from something that's not even a half an inch thick for padding when you're out all day on the water. Uh, and this high load seat is really spot on for navigating the difficult waters and then, you know, perching up and fishing the fish situations uh, on this high low seat. The last thing I want to talk about is the rear end of this boat. Uh, they've improved, at least what I think is an improved system for the bungee cord, and it slides on this gear track. Um, if this one will cooperate, well, this one will. Um, it's really nice to have it slide up and down, um, and you don't have to really worry you know, about this thing catching. Uh, it's not too bulky like the Ocean Kayaks system is. And I'm also a big fan of at least these flush mounts. These flush mounts are really nice, um, very useful, and the steel gear track they have right here is a really big reason why I bought this. This is what I'm going to start mounting my cameras onto once I get the camera boom. Uh, and I don't have to worry about it wobbling. It's very solid. Okay, so we've gone over the positives of the boats. I'm going to make it abundantly clear that I'm very happy with this boat. I think that overall this is an amazing kayak. Considering where I have come from with the ocean kayak and the fishing industry has upgraded to this, it is a universe difference. It is, it is very welcoming to see how much they've improved in all the gadgets on here. I'm a gadget kind of guy. But the one big negative I have is how this boat is designed. I have very long legs. So I have to have my seat all the way back. And so when I put my rod and reel on here, this, I'm guessing, is what they intended to have the rod stored as. But I cannot paddle like this. My hand is constantly banging on this. And as you can see, if I continue doing it, I'm almost about to set the hook on the bungee cord. That's not fun getting undone. So what I have to do is then rotate this in here so it stores inside and then put this on and hold it. Now, what happens then is this rubs up against my rod holder. So now I have to move it to the inside track so it doesn't rub, rub up against it. Then I have to make sure that it doesn't get caught on this knob here. And this gets all entangled in here. The reason why I'm bringing this up is they also came out with another kayak called the Mayfly. And the Mayfly has two big differences with the CUDA HD as far as this section goes. This gear track is actually pushed out further towards the edge, which would actually save me from this whole monstrosity going on here. The other thing they have is a recessed, recessed real storage area um, that would be really nice if they had on the CUDA. They don't really have that here, and and they have uh, the sea deck right on this section for the mayfly, so it silences the reel, so you're not banging around trying to get it out. Uh, the other negative that I have is these rod tubes. I like having these rod tubes, but I think it's too too many. Uh, you know, you need to go with the flush mount or with the ram mount, one or the other. The other thing that kind of bothers me is. They have rail blaze amounts out there now, and this it's a much lower profile. I'm going to have to pay my money, more money, to lower this profile so it's not in my way. Uh, you know, with flush mounts, my problem is is that you know if I don't want it here, I can't just pull it out. I have a hole in my boat there now. Um, so you know, it'd be nice in the future when they think about more boat designs to to find a way to streamline these to lower their profile. And maybe not go with so many. Uh, I would much rather have more gear track back here or, you know, a real storage back here. If I could find, if they could find a way to have it so my reel sits back here like it does in the Mayfly, you know, that, that'd be great. So the other thing that I would like is to have more sea deck. Uh, I really appreciate how they actually have this slope that's actually at an angle. I don't know if that's the factory second, the issue with this, or if that was intentional. 
but it's actually kind of sloped here so the water actually drains off very well but it would be nice if they took the sea deck and it extended it down here you know on these these raised parts that help reduce a lot of the sound uh, all the way to the back i'm going to have to add these things to it and you know for me i feel like when i'm paying for an hd model it's supposed to be an upgrade um, i feel like if you're going to go that far and i pay that much money it'd be nice to have it come all the way back here last but not least something that we've noticed when you know we're carrying these boats around is the location of this handle uh, the handle is phenomenal but the location is not an efficient way to carry this boat around it would be nicer if it was further back here now I understand why they did it you know they have the power pole mount system here and then you have the rudder system on here all these optional upgrades it would be nice if they included an optional handle relocation. You can move it back here. Um, so I don't have to drill my holes. Uh, drill more holes on my boat, I should say. Thanks for watching my land review of the CUDA HD. Now let's check out some film on the water. Just a little quick I learned from a guy, Jeff Little, on YouTube. He takes this fish attractant bait smelly stuff and rubs it on his bait it's not really so that they hold on to it but as a lubricant so that when they bite onto it it slides in their mouth and gets the hooks in there that's substantially deeper over here so they may be they may just be over there Yeah, now it gets really shallow right in here, so it may be right here. That's why it's the other guy. It may be right in here. Oh, yeah, ma'am. I guess it's a good one. This is a big one. Oh, the hook came out just as I got him in the net. Oh, that's a big fish. Right where I was thinking they were going to be. Check out this monster smallmouth. What? So you got to remember where they're at. That's just too exciting. Tony Charles was here to get underwater footage. Sweet. All right. Oh, I feel redemption. I can go home now. I'm not going to though. Check that out. Catching. I don't know if that's a white bass. I think so. Well, I'm getting old. Now, I think I see Lance. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Really, Roman? <laughs> 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 Dick. Let's go, boat. This is my time. Is, look, look at that muddy butt. <laughs> <laughs>